In this video, we're going to learn how to use the jQuery UI uh, to create sliders. Sliders are used to input a, a numeric value uh, using a, a handle that we can uh, move with, uh, with the mouse or even using uh, the arrow uh, keys. Okay, so um, let's create our first um, uh, slider. So we're going to need to uh, create a uh, div that we will, uh, so we give it an ID, uh, we just call it slider, okay, and we can access this element using its ID, which is slider, and then we're going to uh, use a method uh, called uh, slider, it's straightforward, okay. So if we refresh the page, we can see that we've got a slider there. So we can use the handle and uh, move it uh, using the mouse. Also, we can move it using the uh, arrow keys. Okay, so now let's create a label for our uh, slider. So we're going to do... So we're going to add a label. We're going to use the four property is for slider okay so let's put some text there for the label so value okay and now we're gonna have the uh, value of the numeric value next to the label so the, a way to do that is to have an input in here and once we start sliding every time we slide we can change the value of this uh, input depending on the position of the handle. All right. So let's create our uh, inputs. It's going to be text. And also let's give us an ID that we're going to need in the code. All right. This input is going to be read only. We uh, don't allow the user to input anything there. There is a uh, property that we need uh, for that. It's read only. Okay. So if you uh, specify or if you add this keyword into uh, f to an input uh, tag, this means that the user will not be allowed to um, in input any value in there. Okay. And we're going to use code to um, affect any values to this uh, input. We can style it as well. So it's. Uh, have some uh, styling there for this input. So let's uh, go for a color. Okay, I'm gonna go for blue like that, and we're gonna take out the border as well. Okay, and also let's have a font weight bold. Now we're gonna uh, add a property to our slider because we want the uh, this input to change depending on the position of the handle. So the property we're gonna use is gonna be slide and uh, what we need to write here is a, a function that we uh, are going to execute uh, every time we move the handle. So, so we're going to define a function, but this time this function is going to have parameters, the event and UI objects. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to access our input using its ID. And we will set the value of this uh, input to the uh, value of our uh, slider. Okay. So at the moment, the slider doesn't have any min uh, value or max value. So it doesn't make sense at the moment to affect any value or uh, expect the slider to have any value there. But let's just go for that. For now, let's just um, uh, set the value to ui.value. So 
UI.value refers to the value of the slider. Okay, so if we do this, let's see what's going to happen. So if you move the handle, by default, the min value is 0 and the max value is 100. Okay, we can change that if we want, if we want to. So we can set the uh, min value and max value by adding other properties. So the min is the min prop, uh, the min uh, is gonna uh, give us the minimum value, and the max is gonna give the max value. So we can uh, go for um, zero for the min and twenty five for the max. Okay, and now this is gonna change. So the maximum is twenty five and the minimum is zero. Okay. All right. We can also make sure that um, our uh, input at, at the beginning is not empty because when we start it's empty so you can just set it to zero if you want to so just by selecting the input using its id and just um, setting its value to zero at the beginning so now if we refresh the page we can see that at the at the very beginning is zero and once we start sliding we can see the value changing. All right. Okay. So that's how um, we create uh, sliders with uh, single uh, handles. Now we're going to move to uh, sliders with uh, double um, with two handles, um, which will represent usually a, a range of uh, values. Okay. So rather than having only one value. We're going to have two handles and we're going to have a range between the first value and the second value. First value with the first handle and second value with the second handle. Okay. All right, so uh, we're going to create another uh, div for the second uh, slider. Uh, we can just copy paste the uh, first div with the label as well and the input. Okay, so the second slider, we're going to give it an ID uh, range slider. Okay. And so let's say that uh, we're going to have an input for a range of uh, mileage. Uh, so let's say we, we're having a website where the uh, user can look for a car to buy and they want to uh, look for a car with a certain uh, mileage between uh, within a certain range okay so our label is going to be uh, mileage and the input is going to be text and we're going to give it an id as well let's call it mileage or mileage range okay Similar to what we've done with the uh, first uh, slider, we're going to access the uh, slider in the code and we're going to use the same method. So we'll access the slider using its uh, ID, which is range slider, and we'll use the uh, slider method. All right. This time we have a range uh, slider so we're gonna need a property to uh, tell the browser this is not a single handle uh, a slider but this is a range slider so the property is range that we need to set to true okay so if we do that we refresh the page now we can see that we've got two handles there okay and the input that we're expecting or the, uh, the the inputs here is giving us a range okay so we've got a range between that value and that value okay okay so let's set a min and max for our uh, slider as we did before so this says the min to zero zero miles and the max to 100,000 miles. 
okay we can set the initial value of our um, slider so rather than having the uh, range starting at uh, 0 to 0 so we can have a range an initial range between 0 and 10,000 miles for example okay so the property is values and we're gonna set that to a range like that so you need uh, to use an array so first value is 0 and the second one 10,000 miles all right so let's check so now we can see that we're starting at a range between 0 and 10,000 okay now we're gonna um, add our slide uh, function as we did before so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that when we slide the handles our range is shown inside the input okay so first of all let's just um, style our inputs as we did for the first one so our input this time is mileage range okay let's just add it there okay so now we're styling both the slider value and the mileage range okay let's add some margin margin bottom to the Microsoft div so that it looks better okay that's better okay so we're gonna um, set our slide uh, property so again we are going to need a function function with the uh, event and UI objects and let's write the code we need inside our uh, function so so what we're, we're going to do we're going to so every time we slide we're going to access the input okay so let's uh, access the input using its ID which is amount uh, which is um, mileage range okay and we're going to change the value of this input okay so first We're gonna need the uh, first value. Let's let's just write a, a a sample of how it's gonna look like. So, so if we know our range, let's say the range is between zero and ten thousand miles, then it's gonna look like this. So zero miles space minus sign ten thousand miles. Okay. Let's test it test it first, even if it's a fixed value make sure it's working so once we start sliding we can see the value there it looks alright so now we want uh, the values uh, to uh, change according to the position of the handles so rather than zero we need to access the position of the first handle okay so so we're gonna do we're gonna break this Okay, plus ten thousand plus miles. Okay, that looks all right. Okay, and rather than zero and ten thousand, so the first value is going to be UI dot values. Okay. And as we know, the, the values is an array with two uh, two values. So we're accessing the first value, which is the elements of index zero in our array. So the initial value is the initial uh, values are zero and ten thousand. So we're just um, uh, accessing values inside the object UI, okay? And as values is an array, we just uh, need the index of the value that we need. So the first one is the elements of index zero, okay? And then the second one is UI dot values one. Okay. Okay, let's uh, try this and make sure it's working. 
So if we start sliding, so we can see the second value and we can see also the first value changing. Okay, so it's a little bit um, not very good to have the uh, miles going or increasing by one. Usually, if you go to a website where you look for cars uh, to buy and you want to select the mileage, usually you've got the values increasing by something like a thousand miles. So we need a, a property for that. It's called step. And we can set that to 1000, which means that we are increasing or decreasing by 1000 every time. Okay, it's a comma. Okay, so now we can see looks better and it's working. All right. At the beginning, we don't have any value there, so we can make sure that uh, we've got our initial value there. So we're just going to use the same code that we used here outside the slider uh, method. We're just going to access the values. Uh, another using another way so to so the first value we're going to access it by first accessing the slider using its id okay and then we're going to use the slider method and then uh, we're going to have a couple of parameters there so the first one is which uh, property we're looking at its values and the second one is uh, the index okay, of the uh, array. Okay, So the second value is going to be the same. So rather than using the UI objects, we're using the same code, but this time we're looking at index 1. All right, so let's uh, go for that and make sure it's working. Yes, it is working. So initially, this is the initial value, and once we start sliding, we can see the values um, changing. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to look at a little bit more uh, widgets.